channels. Well, I wanted to do a little preview introduction to this video because I was at Brentwood Centre at the Collector's Fair this past weekend and I think I was just having an off day. Um, I probably filmed an hour and a half, two hours of footage. When I've come to edit it, it's not very good. The commentary's not good. I mean, my videos aren't great at the best of times, but this was particularly bad. And I've managed to put a video together about 15 minutes long of some of the footage, which isn't too bad, but it's not what I would hope it would have been. So I thought I'd just do a little preview there and explain that, you know, it's just one of those things I had an off day. And while I was doing that, just show you some of the things I bought at the fair. So first of all, are these two containers with Carter's Gallopers on there. Those who watch the channel know that I'm a big fan of Carter's Steam Fair, and I thought these look, would look great on the layout. Um, I paid a pound each for those, so I don't think they're too bad. You'll see those in the video. Next up was this Backman Tram. Um, this is uh, Hershey's Chocolate Town. Again, roller coaster, theme park uh, related. So Hershey's do have a theme park in the States in Pennsylvania. I've been there a couple of times. And I just saw this and I thought, well, that's a nice little uh, memento. Um, I think it's missing the little pickups on the top here. I can soon get something to put back in there and it didn't have a box. I paid £20 for it. I don't think it's too bad. I mean, it's a nice little runner. I've had it running up and down the tress tack, so it's not too bad. So that's that one. Um, and then I spotted this on one of the stalls. Now, I don't have this one. This is the Triang satellite launch. And I do believe it's got the original satellite on it, which is quite rare. Now, I paid £15 for it and not checking it at the time the mechanism does feel very tight and it doesn't spin so i think there's a little project in there to whip the base off and fix that so maybe there maybe there's a video in that i'm not sure and then finally as we're heading out the fair i picked up jupiter which um i saw it on a stall asked how much it was it's got some little bits that need fixing and it's missing some wheels off the tender and i paid 10 pounds for it which isn't too bad at all um the reason i did that is because in my scrap box I've actually got another tender for it which is I know the motor works on this because I've had it on the track so I think it's not going to be take too much to get this into a, a nice little running loco um, so there's definitely a project in there anyway so I just thought I'd share those bits with you they're the ones I picked up at the fair on Saturday um, and again just to say I hope somebody finds the footage interesting um, I wasn't particularly happy with it I was just having a really off day I don't know what was wrong but uh, yeah. With that said, let's uh, head over to do my uh, introduction outside the Brentwood Centre. Hi everyone, welcome to Dutchy Shelf. Back here in Brentwood for the J&J &J Collectors Fair, January 2024. Well, welcome to Brentwood. Um, only seems like a few weeks since the last uh, toy fair. But uh, I thought I'd come back and have a look. Let me just have a look in here. Just looking at the Flying Scotsman there. Yeah, that's the body I bought a while back. There's no price on that one. Might come back, have a look later. What we got on here? Lots of cars. There is the uh, Silver Jubilee Matchbox body. Matchbox bus there. Various train buildings. Let's have a look at this end. Over this side, various springs and spares. Got here railway wagons, four pound each or three for ten pounds. Just doing a quick, quick look through. I do like the uh, Dwight D. Eisenhower, the Batman one in the box there, 150 pounds. Matchbox. Hot Wheels drop there, Jay Leno's garage. The Windsor Castle there. Loving the tractor and the car there. Wonderful stuff on here. I've seen this stand at a few of the fairs. They do some really, really nice things. We've got the live steam at the end here. Just 
gonna have a quick look at this engine on the end. That's beautiful. Wow, look at this lot. Lots of O gauge here. Very nice. Beautiful sets on here. And I've said before, when you come to these fairs, do look underneath the stalls because uh, this is where you get the sort of rummage boxes. So underneath this stall, there's uh, different uh, won't be double O bodies and things. Double O carriages for a fiver each, which is pretty good. I do like the lamps. over here. Seen those before. B12 loco on the end there, 20 pounds. Might come back for that one, that was pretty good. Do you like the uh, box fan can there, trying. Some nice buses here. Very stinky spares here. crane for 35 pounds and a couple of beautiful condition Pullman carriages APT in the back there lots of cars on here these look pretty good First edition Hot Wheels. Certainly some nice aircraft on here. Quite reasonable prices as well. These are the Corky uh, Aviation Archive. Very nice. New Year clearance sale. £18, pretty good. Lots of different corgi on here, corgi lorries and things. <coughs> right, well I'm going to have to treat myself to a few of those, the Carter's Gallipers containers, they look pretty good. They look good on the layout, so I'll come back for those. I do like the way these are, rather than just rummaging and damaging the models, they're actually in packets and things, which is good. That's lovely, that one. The Corgi traction engine with the crane on the front of it. Very nice. Lots of track here. I think we've seen that before. Various other spares and accessories. Let's have a look at these buildings. Yeah, I can't see anything that's jumping out at me, I'm afraid. So how 
mouse over the back there looks uh, quite well made. £25, we'll think about that one. There go figures. Beautiful Hornby sets. Garfield cats. Yeah, there's a few dolls house bits and pieces. Lots of figures here. Action man. These are GI Doe? I'm not sure. Lots of Hot Wheels. Ships over there, two pound each. That's not too bad. Do you like these airfix kits here? Action man. To the submarine in the middle there. My brother had one of these tanks when we were younger. Locos here. scale bits and pieces let's have a look at these an engine shed here for 80 pounds that's pretty good a couple of locos try a good set here thousands of matchbox cars Love the car over the back. Lots of Thunderbirds, you see the Tracy Island there. underneath the stalls when you come to these fairs. These are where you find uh, the rummage boxes. That one down there, Ren, Brighton, Bell. Yeah, this stall's been very popular. <laughs> 
bit of a jumble of things in there, five for each. I won't be able to get in there. Oh, the robots there. Again, the Ren Locos look beautiful. Oh, such good condition as well. See the Stoke on Trent there. I've actually got one of those. I need to do a video on that. What we have here. another great fair there from J&J uh, &J Collectors Fairs. As I say, these run at the Brentwood Centre a few times a year, so if you can get over, come and have a look around. There's some really great stuff in there. So hopefully I've done a good job in uh, getting a balance between showing you what's there and also respecting that these are people's businesses and this isn't an uh, exhibition. Anyway, if you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up. And with that, I think I'll leave this one there. Do check out the channel. There's lots of videos on there. There's a few other collector's fairs and uh, different railway exhibitions that may interest you. And if you can subscribe, I'll be really grateful. And with that, I'll say thank you ever so much for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one.